Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. If I asked you right now to make a top 5 of the longest feeling worlds in Wizard 101. Now I don't mean the longest, I mean what feels like it takes the longest to get through. What would you say? Now I'm sure a lot of you would say maybe Azteca, Crystalis, worlds like that. I'm willing to bet also that quite a few of you said Celestia. What I want to highlight in this video and one thing that I think about a lot is that Celestia is not a long world. To put it into perspective, this is the Celestia main quest line. Now, Celestia, as you can see here, has a total of 95 quests. To put that into perspective, just so you know, that is shorter than Dragonspire, Zafaria, Polaris, Mirage. I'm just naming a lot of worlds that I personally feel are pretty short. It's shorter than all of them, and it is equal length to Mushu. Now, I don't know if that rings an alarm bell for you. You may be like, Mushu? It's equal length to Mushu? Yes. Celestia has 95 quests. Mushu has 88. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but to me, this was crazy when I figured it out. Because as a kid, I always dreaded the days when I would get through Dragon Spire only to get to Celestia, which I thought was one of the worst worlds in the game. It felt super long, super drawn out, and was generally boring. Now, I have a few theories on why this is, so let's get into those. Well, if I bring up right here the quest tree again, I want you to take a look at it, see if you notice anything. Because I feel like there is really a common theme with Celestia that you can really kind of point to when it comes to why the quests are so long. I'm scrolling through it, see if you can find a see if you can find a common theme. Well, it's really easy. Uh, there are a billion walk quests. Like look at for example the district of the stars the district of the stars only has four quests where you actually battle people but it has 11 quests where a lot of them are a significant amount of walking and i think that is the real problem with celestia and the reason why celestia feels so long for some reason king's isle made this map the map of celestia huge it is ginormous in a lot of streets. For example, Storm Rhythm. Storm Rhythm is a kind of short street. You can see if we go back to the thing, it only has like, uh, yeah, it only has like 10 quests, it has nine quests. But that street feels like one of the longest in Celestia. And the reason for that is, is that there is so much walking that it takes long to get through. Now, I think the reason for this is that King's Isle, when they made Celestia, teleporters were, I'm not gonna say a rather new thing, but they weren't necessarily as thought out as with future worlds. It's not like in Caramel where there's a nanovator taking you from street to street. In Celestia, there are teleporters in each street. Usually each street has two and a teleporter hub. The problem is, is that a lot of these teleporters don't even take you to any of the quest objectives. One that I distinctly remember is in the Crustacean Empire. One takes you about halfway to the quest objective to this guy that you need to walk to that's at the other side of the map. And the other teleporter barely even helps you at all. So there is a significant portion where you are just walking around. And I think that King's Isle really needs to fix this. On top of this, Storm Riven, in my opinion, one of the worst streets in this game, uh, the has a significant amount of walking like probably the most amount of walking out of any street to actually get to the front of storm ribbon to the back of storm ribbon you need to if you follow my mouse you need to go all the way through here over here through here and then all the way to storm ribbon hall that doesn't look like a lot on the map but look how slow i'm walking okay wait let me put on a mount and then you can look at how slow i'm walking look at this this is ridiculous the cherry on top is that it has no teleporters and i think that king's isle didn't do this intentionally but they couldn't think of where they would add teleporters at the time and thus did not add them it would have been so easy to just leave a teleporter hub like right here next to leland hawkins that teleports you to storm riven hall and it suddenly completely circumvents it and suddenly this world gets a lot better with teleporters 
Now, now that I've gotten over the walking section, I'm gonna say that that's not the only reason Celestia feels long. The reason why Celestia feels long, and this comes up a lot, is that it goes back and forth between streets that have little to no combat, such as the District of the Stars, to streets that have a lot of combat. And what it feels like is it feels like you're being pulled back and forth between just doing fight quest after fight quest to doing walk quest after walk quest, and it makes this world incredibly painful. And what I want to point to is, um. You go from the district, uh, Storm Riven in the District of Stars, which barely has any combat, to Science Center, which has an insane amount of defeat and collect quests, to the Crustacean Empire, which has the most amount of fight quests in this entire world. I think it's a significant problem when you have a world with 90 quests that feels this long. If I had to rank it in terms of how long it feels to do it, I would definitely put it way above Polaris, and Polaris has more quests than it so it's not the actual length is how it feels in regards to the length a few proposed fixes because i can't just say that they're you know i can't just say oh this sucks and then not propose a fix well two things one cut down some of the walking quests like i feel like the district of the stars here half of these quests are not necessarily necessary but they aren't really impactful to the story and they could be combined and condensed quite a bit so there is that two add teleporters to speed up questing a lot people underestimate the power of teleporters but i would say that they are without a doubt the most impactful thing when it comes to transportation and questing in this entire game and whilst it's just dragon spire and mushu these are instrumental because those maps are also rather large but those are condensed by the fact that they have teleporters leading throughout them. Mushu especially is helped by the teleporters, and Celestia doesn't have that to a significant degree. Also, I would adjust the pacing in regards to defeat and collect quests. I think that the defeat and collect quests in this world especially feel rather punishing, and I don't know why. I won't say I have a specific reason for it, but I can distinctly remember in Celestia getting stuck on quite a few defeat and collect quests that I feel like could easily be either reduced or less painful. Now, I would like to say it used to be even more painful. Uh, I remember back in one of this, this first quest right here to fixing a hole that you need to collect sealant from these crustaceans in the beginning of, uh, what's it called, survey camp, and the problem with it was that you needed to collect four of it and it was almost a zero percent drop rate like i remember being there for over an hour on one of my wizards which is crazy because this world should in my opinion take probably less significantly less than 10 maybe even between 5 and 10. i obviously i have my how long is each wizard 101 world guide video i forget exactly what i said but definitely like it should take maybe about 75 percent of the time than it actually does. So that's it for today. Let me know what you think about what I said in this video. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Who knows? Someone might disagree with me and say, I don't think Celestia is long at all. I think it's one of a, it feels like one of the shortest worlds in this game. And I, I, I mean, I don't agree with you, but I am interested to see your opinion. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like at the sub button. Make sure to support me on Patreon if you feel generous and also join my Discord server. That's it for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.